Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look again at Marvel's Avengers, released in 2020, to see if the new upgrade patch has done anything to make you return to Crystal Dynamics Superhero Action RPG. Released in 2020, the game itself is an action RPG with a story campaign that is somewhat of an origin story of Kamala Khan and her strive to redeem and bring back together the Avengers. Still holding to my original review, I felt that the game is very ambitious for what it tried to achieve in visuals and storytelling. The story itself is incredible and the action gameplay also follows with some of the best combat I have played in a while with each character playing different and to their strengths and personalities. So what's the downfall? The game is very repetitive. The further you jump into any missions that are not part of the campaign, they all are generally the same, where you beat waves of enemies or are trying to have Jarvis gain access to enemy networks to shut them down. They are very little in the enemy variety and with similar looking levels can make pursuing online multiplayer a lot to ask for from the player. I was in it for the action and story myself and thus the repetitive missions couldn't hold my interest for very long. Then comes the upgrade that takes advantage of the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S and their capabilities. The best part of the upgrade isn't the near 4K visuals or the 30 or 60 frames per second gameplay. For me, it's the free DLC we get from Kate Bishop and Hawkeye. You now can play Kate Bishop's story if you hadn't already and now join in its cliffhanger with Hawkeye's story. The story and acting feel lackluster at best as they play with time travel to get out of every apocalyptic world gone mad. Who's the murder hobo? I don't know, but I'm uh, digging that shirt. Katie? You're alive. Clint? Damn, I got old and ugly. You didn't get ugly, punk. Although unimpressive, the free contact really pushes the boundaries of a game that could use a refresh and has done so, at least in the story mode. With Black Panther coming soon, I will return back to the game as the DLC will reveal more stories in the Marvel Universe to explore and this is where the game does it right. Unfortunately, until we get Black Panther, it really feels like Hawkeye is Kate Bishop in a different form as they have similar attacks and fighting styles besides their super moves. They both have a bow and arrow and they both use a sword for close combat. I felt this is two DLCs that were released separately that should have been released together for one big DLC. Visuals and stability take a huge step forward as I had no issues with 30 frames before but now love how smooth 60 frames can truly be. The updated textures and near 4K presentation also makes the game that more awesome to watch with all the chaos on screen at a silky smooth frame rate. The multiplayer online remains the same and does not impress, especially when you take a look at the competitors like Fantasy Star Online 2 and its free to play format that makes you keep coming back with original levels and the craziest boss fights ever.
games like Division 2's unique levels make you feel that even though you are essentially doing the same thing over and over again, the atmosphere is so different everywhere you go, it plays like a new experience. This is what Marvel's Avengers need to do to become a competitive on an interest level. You have combat, now you need missions that maybe mimic comic book storylines and have incredible bosses to face besides the same old robots. The way it's set up right now, I will only return when a story DLC arrives as I know those are done quite well and are impressive just like the campaign original. Marvel's Avengers Upgrade for the PS5 and Xbox Series gets a 7.0 out of 10 for its upgrade in visuals and stability with two new characters that fall short of the mark as nothing else was updated. My hope with Black Panther's arrival also fixes much more than just another side story. That's it for me on this look at a current gen upgrade for Marvel's Avengers. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg. Take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload. You or left or whatever. I mean, but you came back, right? To help us fight the Kree? I didn't. Told Fury that I was washed up. That you didn't need me. Of course we need you! Look, I won't try to justify it now. It's one of a long line of mistakes. Since the war, I've been searching for Fury. To see if I can make it up to him. Damn.